Uh, Pre-workout, I did a scoop and a half of uh, fuel pump, half a scoop of demo day. This is like 12 and a half, 13 grams of carbohydrates. Scoop and a half of fuel pump. And then we went and bought Smurf gummy bears, Emmy and I, at the uh, at Five Below. You get five bags for five bucks, I think. Can't fucking beat it. But a uh, few gummy bears, tasty shit. And then, yeah, we're gonna do back. Gonna be a good day. This workout. All right, I took uh, I took four weeks after vacation. Everything with the businesses were hitting hard, and it looked uh, I looked at it as a time to say I'm just gonna uh, work out a couple days a week, um, do my cardio, and lowered my food intake. I didn't really have to eat. I just wanted to, like reset my body. And right now I'm fucking paying for it coming back because I'm sore than all hell. I like it, um, but it's, it's an adjustment again. And that's pretty much what uh, this workout. And what I'm going to talk to you, it'll be a workout where I talk about everything as I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, how I'm positioning myself. The goal here is to get back into the swing of things and wake your body up. The full repetitions and properly stimulating yourself so that you can start to grow. Because that's really what I want to do. I want to stimulate, I want to stimulate the muscles, wake them up and get shit working again. Pretty much it. I'm going to drink this and we'll go do some shit. Yeah. Doing assisted pull-ups. So in videos before you hear me talk about doing pull-ups first. Yes, right back to it. If you can't do regular pull-ups, do assisted pull-ups. Use as little weight as possible to get shooting for like an eight to 12 rep range. And you know, if you start with a heavier weight and lighten it as you go, so help push your fat ass up, that's where I'm going. Goal is to get 75 to 100 pull-ups before you actually begin your workout. Okay, don't care what variation of hand grips you use. I go wide grip, close grip, reverse grip, don't give a fuck grip. Do the pull-ups, it's hard. Not pull-downs, but pull-ups. Makes a huge difference, because you arch your back, stick your chest up, nice pull, okay? So I'll, I'm gonna do probably five or six sets, probably six sets of 12 uh, on the assisted, and then move into uh, just a regular body weight pull-up, and I'll do wide grip, reverse grip, close grip, and uh, whatever the fuck grip, until I get to 100 and then move in. I think we're gonna start with uh, close grip T-bar rows, and after that we'll probably move into uh, one arm dumbbell rows. I'll get to them whenever they're there, but the basic idea, the game, the idea here, my, my game plan, is back to basic complex movements. We're gonna do barbell rows, maybe a little bit of deadlifts or rack pulls at the end, not sure, maybe. Basic compound movements, get your ass in gear, build, go back to building the base, full repetitions, moving some fucking weight, but nothing to overexert and hurt yourself. <laughs> it's easier said than done. T-bar rows. So we're doing them old school style. Instead of using the T-bar machine, you see me using the, in some of the other videos. Stick the bar right into the corner. Make sure the corner is stable. So with this, whenever you're doing T-bars like this, I use I like to use the, the angled bar, the close grip bar. You want to make sure that your feet are positioned right. 
a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Make sure you get the ass out, the stance. Keep your back nice and arched. Stick your chest up, head in a neutral position. Don't go looking up too high. Too much strain on the body, in my opinion. Um, whenever you're doing this, I'm using the 35s instead of the 45s or the 25s. With the 45s, whenever you go to bring it up in, there won't be a long enough rep range whenever I use the 45s. So that's why I like the 35s. And with the 25s, they'll stack out too far and won't be heavy enough. And it makes it the end for a good strip set. One after another, which we'll do at the end here. One more tip whenever you're doing these. So whenever you're doing these and you're hooked up, me personally, I get the tip of my toes right where the weights are. Stick the bar right here. So whenever I lean back, I'm in a good position. Now, whenever I go and pull, I'm gonna have this position and I'm gonna keep my elbows nice and tight in. Don't flare them out. I wanna keep them nice and tight in. So whenever I'm tightening in, we're using more of my lats. So, all, add all that up, you got a hell of a fucking exercise. So I got into feeling it. I didn't, I'm out of shape too, holy fuck. Even the cardio didn't help. I'm also realizing that now I need to eat more food. As you can see, I'm already doing full rep range. No half reps, three quarter reps, a lot of full reps, full repetition, moderate weight, uh, good rep range like that, eight to, eight to 12, eight to 15, waking everything up, full reps, get the body, the tendons, the ligaments, muscles, everything woken the fuck up, pushing blood, moving some weight, uh, tearing down the muscles, rebuilding. But with this in particular, now after a fucking ramble, uh, five to six sets per exercise. That's what I started feeling once I got done doing the T-bar rows, moved into this, did the same thing, about six sets, um, eight to 15 reps per set, each arm, and uh, feel really good, like I said, I can also tell that I definitely am not eating enough food, um, especially for a bigger workout, like a back workout. Just make sure you stay hydrated. Other than that, I feel fucking great. Feels good like reawakening the body to get fucking back to all this. Like, it's always good to take a, a rest, especially now that like, you know, I beat the fuck out of myself for so long. Take a rest, feel rejuvenated. I start to feel alive again. Get that sore, that soreness, that ache, that, that fucking, that yearning desire to fucking kill it again. It was good. All right, another little tidbit. Uh, a common question asked when they're building a workout, when people are building a workout, do I do free weights? Do I do uh, free weights, cables, body weight exercises, all that? Bro, they're all great. They all have a specific design purpose. Whenever you're using free weights, you're gonna use a lot more stabilizer muscles. I think uh, almost not all of them, but basic complex move, or compound movements. You're going to use the stabilizers. It's going to be a little more difficult. You're going to use, you know, with one arm dumbbell rows, you're using your legs for 
for the base, you're using your core, you're gonna use your arms, shoulders, back, lats. It's a big exercise, move the fucking weight. Get a good strong base, get into it, get fucking mentally prepared and rip shit. Good form, don't let the weight control you, you control the fucking weight. Um, whenever what I'm about to move into, I'm gonna move into some cable rows. We're gonna do reverse grip uh, cable rows. With this, again, it's gonna be, we're gonna use cables, so we're gonna take out a little bit more, more of that stabilizing muscles and, and focus on the back and lats. Um, so when you're building a program, have a balance of everything. But then if you're like, oh, I wanna do more basic overall uh, strength and brutes and, and size, free weights. Don't forget the detail, don't forget to focus on specific body parts, especially for a bodybuilding mentality. So build the program, have a balance. And like I said earlier, I'm doing five to six sets per exercise, moving through shit, realizing that I need to eat more food. Pay attention to your body, listen to it. You listen to it, it'll tell you what to do. But don't fucking lie to yourself. Don't be like, oh, I can't wait to eat a cheat meal tonight. Now you're just being a fat fuck. I, I'm, I'm, I go right on the border a lot. <laughs>